Okay, so this tutorial is going to be a basic problem solving tutorial. Um, I keep getting asked the same questions depending on whatever class I'm in. So this one today I'm going to have a look at how you round off a sharp corner. See a lot of people are making objects with their lines and then extruding them and they've drawn round the shape and then they've got really harsh edges so it looks good from the front view but when you look at it from above it's a rigid object, uh, still boxy. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try and give you a tip to sort of round some corners off, okay? Make things feel a little less boxy. To do that, I'm just going to use a box as an example. Um, just for my own benefit, I'm going to change that to a cube. Right. Let's presume this was an editable poly. So we're in editable poly mode. And you can see at the moment those have got sharp 90 degree edges, okay? Now presuming I've shaped my object nicely in front viewport, but inside viewport it looks like a box. So come into edge mode. I'm gonna select the edge I want. Now some of you have jumped straight into putting mesh smooth modifiers on it or turbo smooth. I'll do the same thing. And you see that doesn't really give us any help. Basically what that's trying to do is smooth this mesh down completely. Basically what it does is it works out distance between these two lines and smooths it in the middle. Okay, and that's not what we want it to do. We just want to give this a slight rounded off edge. So what I'm going to do, as I said before, click on edge. I'm going to scroll down and the tool I'm looking for is called the chamfer. Okay, now rather than just clicking on the chamfer button, I'm going to click on the settings. And I get this chamfer. Okay, now a chamfer is a clean cut. A chamfer is like a machined cut. It's a terminology they use. Oops, it's terminology they use when they're machining metal or something like that, or wood. And you can see it's a clean edge. Okay, now I can change that up and down, and it creates sort of this chamfered edge. Now you have a chamfer and a fillet. A fillet is a rounded edge, and a chamfer is a solid machined edge where you've just had a, a sort of a blade ch chop that edge off that corner now at the moment that doesn't look particularly round all right it might work depending on what you're modeling if you're modeling something metallic but at the moment i wanted that to be more rounded now i can change the amount up and down at the top and to make it more rounded the next one down is the amount of segments so at the moment i've got one segment so here's my original edge and it's moved it down and here's the new segment i'm creating the one new segment so I've got these two segments for this corner. If I were to add another one, you can see it adds one in the middle. And you can see the more I add, so let's go up to five for example, I've now rounded that edge. Obviously the more I add, the rounder it gets. Although that being said, you've got to be careful of your poly count just in case, because I'm going to add more and more detail and it's going to be harder to smooth if I wanted to add more detail later on, okay? So once you're happy with that, you just press tick you can see made a nice round edge now if I were going to do say for example as most of you have done you've drawn sort of guns or weapons or something like that and you want to smooth a whole edge you've got to ensure that you just do one edge one row of edges at a time don't then try and do everything like the horizontal ones and the vertical ones at the same time because you're going to get a weird um, mesh in the middle it's going to meet strangely in the middle so do all of say this side then you would do all of this side and so on and so forth but just watch the results before you actually accept them when you change the amount of the chamfer make sure it's not um, it's not too much it's not sort of intersecting with any other geometry okay yep right I'm gonna try and do a few more tutorials a bit like this just sort of quick problem solves for people who seem to be asking the same questions okay hope this helped cheers